Rolling thin sheets of clay is actually super quick and easy with these tips and techniques I'm going to share with you now. Hi guys, I'm Mel, the sculptress and artist from Two Feathers Gallery based in Australia. Here I have a solid acrylic roller and this is my preferred rolling tool that I use. And this is a hollow acrylic roller. It's You can't put as much force on it, but it still works very well. You can also use things from around the home. For instance, a paintbrush, a nice round pencil, or even something like a chopstick. You could even use a glass. Just make sure you don't reuse anything in the kitchen for health and safety reasons. Before you start, it's really important to make sure that your polymer clay is well conditioned and that your surface is clean and dry. Here I've got some yellow Primo Sculpey polymer clay that is really, really sticky and soft. And the reason why I wanted to use this is just to show you that you can still roll clay even when it's in this condition. Now you can just go ahead and roll it like I did then. However, sometimes it can stick to the roller and can be a little bit more difficult to work with. A way to get around this is to pop a piece of baking paper over the top and then you can just roll without it sticking to your roller and you'll generally get a better result doing it this way. So yeah, you can just jump in and start rolling it and just try and roll it evenly by eye and by feel. And that might be okay. You might be okay with doing it this way. I've got a blade here and that helps to take it off the tile nice and cleanly. Now, another little trick is to use some cornstarch. I keep mine in this container. It's kind of cool because one side I can just sprinkle it on the surface. And then the other side, if I just need a tiny bit, I can just stick my finger in there, grab a little bit and off it goes. So I like to put a tiny bit on the surface, a little bit on my roller, and then you can even put a little bit, rub a little bit into your gloves as well so it doesn't stick to either your hands or your gloves. And I've got a little piece of clay here, that little piece of clay, and you can see that it's not sticking to the roller. I'm just doing it in the other direction as well. And you get a pretty good result doing it just like that, just rolling it by eye. However, if you wanted to roll very, very even sheets, this is actually something that I bought from eBay. It was only eight to nine dollars. The pink one is a thicker ring, it will give you thicker sheets. And the purple one is a thinner ring and you'll get thinner sheets from that one. So how that works is you, because we're going to make a thinner sheet, just pop the purple rings on. And yeah, they use this a lot for fondant and cake decorating. This is the cheapest one that there is out there. There are much fancier ones that have a lot more levels of thickness. I'm just adjusting it to the size of the amount of clay that I have. If it's sticking, you could put on some more cornstarch if you like. I'm just kind of going ahead with this one. Just keep rolling until there's no more movement and you should end up with a beautiful even piece of clay like this. Ta-da! Here I have some, well, you can use popsicle sticks. These are like tongue depressors that the dentist uses. You can adjust thickness by how high you stack the popsicle, popsicle or tongue depressor sticks. Just make sure that you have the same amount on either side so that you get it nice and even. You can see it looks beautiful and this is a really great earring size. You can learn how to make these bolt earrings on my channel. Just click on the link in the description below. Now, another way if the clay is still not thin enough for you is to use some playing cards, just a standard deck of playing cards. And once again, just stack them as thick as you would like your clay to be, just like we did with tongue depressor sticks and pop them either side of your clay. So this is how thick the clay is going to end up. And I'm taking my acrylic roller again and just rolling slowly. And you can see there, well, at the end, if you don't move the cards up, it's going to fall off the edge of the cards and make the end of it a lot thinner. A solution to that is just simply move the cards up and keep rolling upwards in an upwards direction. And then it's going to keep it the same even thickness as you roll up. And if you see any air bubbles, just poke them and 
just smooth them over with your finger and even if you just roll over them again it will get rid of those uh, little marks very quickly and easily. I'm just taking away a few cards because I want to get the clay much thinner so that you can see what results you can get. So that's quite thin. Got two cards either side now and it looks like I'm rolling it even thinner now. <laughs> I'm just going nuts. Popping some little air bubbles and you can see that you can get a pretty good result. I don't know about you, but I think this polymer clay looks really nice and even and thin. If you're pretty serious about polymer clay, I highly recommend you invest in a dedicated polymer clay pasta machine, otherwise known as a clay conditioning machine. I hope that you found this helpful and I will see you in one of my next tutorials.